the top five low budget, high impact marketing techniques to help you market your e-commerce business the right way. Because we all know how expensive it is to start an e-commerce business. You will have to reach your hands into your pockets a little bit and see what you have in order to get your store in front of the customers. But keep in mind that people on a budget usually learn more before taking action. So that's a good thing. Therefore, in this video and in the full blog and article below, you will learn about the five methods to successfully market your e-commerce store the right way while on a budget so you can still do it successfully. Quick intro, let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Liran from AutoDS. I am the content producer. I've also been dropshipping successfully for over four years. And I highly encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube videos because I do videos like this on the regular and they're very informational. So if you want to stay up to date on all of the cool stuff that's happening in the dropshipping world, subscribe to our videos and stay up to date. So let's get on with the marketing techniques on how to budget your e-commerce store while on a budget. So the first word of advice that I have is for all of you who are running Facebook ads. So you're running your campaigns and you have your ads and you have your ad sets. So the first word of advice that I have for you guys is to start low. If you guys are starting with 20 or $50 a day ad sets to target audiences that you haven't tried before and to audience interests that you haven't tried before, this is usually not a very good idea. You need to start with lower budgets because if you're not hitting the right target audience or if they just don't need your product and it's irrelevant, you're just throwing all that money away. So you need to start low with five to $10 ad sets, see how each one performs. Always split test at least three to five ads for each ad set for each campaign, but make sure that each one runs from five to $10 a day and not more. Every time you see an ad that's working well, start to scale it slowly by giving it another five to $10 a day. Just always keep an eye on your ads and on their performance. So that's just really quick regarding Facebook ads. Now let's talk about the five marketing methods to start marketing your store on a budget. So the first thing that I want to talk about is email marketing. Email marketing is a very, very old school method to bring customers to your store. It's being used up until today because it's just been proven effective all throughout the years. So on the Shopify platform, you have a subscribe to our newsletter option that you can put on your website. It doesn't cost any money, but the only question is why will the viewer enter your site now and give you their email address? You need to make it interesting. You need to give them value in exchange for your email. If they're not going to feel like they're getting any value from it, they're not going to leave their email address. So you can use apps like personal discount. By the way, the links to everything that I'm talking about on this video is on the full article below this video. So you're not missing out on anything. And I highly encourage you to go check it after watching this video. So with apps like personal discount, your subscribers are going to get a special discount for leaving their email addresses. They're going to get it straight to their email, the personal discount, which you chose how much of a discount you want to give them. Let's see an example of how it looks. Here it is. View an example store. So this is how it looks. Subscribe to get a unique discount code. And that's it. That's what the customer sees. He just leaves his email address. Most of the people won't mind leaving their email addresses if they're going to get this value from it. So you can give them 5, 10, 15, 20%, however much you want. The more you give them, the more effective it probably will be. So this is how you go with a personal discount. Now, once you get enough email subscribers, at least two, 300 email subscribers, this is the perfect time to start sending them email campaigns. You can use it for free on the Shopify platform. Just create an email campaign or search Shopify apps for apps that help you create email campaigns. Some of them are free and some of them are not, but this is the most effective method to market your store today, especially while on a budget. Because once you have a few hundred emails, which didn't cost you any money, you just had to probably give some discount or something like that in order to get it, but it was still worth it. Now you don't have to pay any ad agencies money to go and try to find your target audience because you already have them. So that's regarding email marketing. The second method to successfully market your store on a budget is by building an active Facebook group. A lot of people build Facebook groups, some of them for just volunteering stuff, but most of them for e-commerce sites. So what you do is you build an active community around your niche. Say for example, your niche is uh, pets, cats, for example. So check out this page, Love Cats. It has 224,000 members. Every now and then they would upload pictures of cats. So every person who likes cats found this page, liked the page and started connecting emotionally with the posts. So you just put all kinds of cool cat pictures every now and then. 
you start building your community slowly and up. Check it out, 229 comments just for a post. And once your community is big enough, you can just post your store, target them to it just like these guys did. And here you're getting free traffic because creating the community didn't cost you any money at all. And now you're just giving that community this link to your store. And once they click on it, they'll see everything that you want to sell to them. It has to relate with the community's topic, which was cats, of course. So in this example, you can see the cats, all of the different variations of shirts which you can buy and different colors and different sizes. And I assure you, these guys are making a lot of money doing what they're doing and you can do it too with these cheap marketing methods. So running an active Facebook community is another great method to successfully market your store while on a budget. Now the third step to successfully market your e-commerce store on a budget is by using influencer marketing platforms. If you don't know, influencer marketing platforms are websites that hold databases of influencers who have target audiences who are following them. And you're going to have to reach out to those influencers using the marketing platforms, which organizes them all in one page. So you reach out to the influencers and you talk to them. You ask them how much they want to get for a shout out. Obviously, you're going to have to find influencers who are good for your niche. So there's a full article explaining the top influencer marketing platforms to use for your website. Here it is. This is the article. You can find it in the full blog below. So I'm not going to go too much into detail because you really have everything over here, but it explains exactly what I just talked about. The best influencer marketing platforms. We rounded out the best ones out of the bunch to use. So go learn how to use them. Talk to influencers. Try to negotiate with ones who don't have so much experience in the business because they'll usually come cheaper than the ones who have a lot of experience and the ones who are already doing a lot of shout outs. So this one requires some work, it requires some research, but in the end of the day, it's really worth it because one influencer can make a huge difference on your sales and on your brand. So influencer marketing platforms is the third method to successfully market your store while on a budget. Now the fourth method to successfully market your store while on a budget is by targeting the international market when you're running ads. So let's check it out on the blog. It's all written down below, like I said before. So when you're targeting the international market while running Facebook ads, you'll notice that it's a much cheaper target audience to market to. Now, the reason that you want to do that is because they engage with your posts and there's also a high chance that they will go inside your shop and buy the product that you're trying to sell them. But mainly when you're targeting the international audience, they're much cheaper. So each ad, when you put it in front of an, an American, when compared to putting it in front of someone that lives in the UK or in Europe, you're going to pay much, much cheaper putting it in front of someone on the international market. Okay, it could cost you like 0 0.001 cent instead of one or two cents for each person. So it can really make the difference. Start by targeting the international audience on your ads. See how the people react. If there are good reactions on the international market and people are really engaging with your posts and even buying the product, then you know that your product is good to put higher budgets on the US market and rake in those sales too. Start low, see how it works, and then gradually increase. So target the international market when you're running Facebook ads. It's a very, very good method to get post engagement and it's a cheap way to check if your product is interesting and if people even want it. The fifth method to successfully market your store while on a budget is by advertising cheaper products. It's much harder to convince someone to buy an expensive product. Okay, so if you're trying to sell a product that costs $100 or $150, you're going to have to spend much more on ads to try to convince someone to reach into their pockets and give you $150 when compared to selling a product that costs only $10 plus another, let's say $5 shipping or $30 plus $5 shipping or even $40 plus $10 shipping. It's still going to be much easier to convince someone to buy that product instead of a more expensive one. Okay. So the more expensive the product costs, the more expensive your ad is going to be to really convince the buyer to buy the product for you. So start with cheaper items. It doesn't mean that you need to profit less. You can still make 40, 50% profit on cheaper items. You'll just have a much higher chance of selling them. And once you start selling cheap items, you'll also know how to sell the more expensive ones. Start with the cheaper ones. And as I said before, gradually increase. So that's my fifth marketing technique to market your store while on a budget. Once again, everything that I talked about is for having a low budget and a high impact effect on your stores. So I encourage you again to read the article below. 
you also have free Shopify marketing apps that will help you market your store along the way. For example, you can use SMS Bump, MMS Marketing for sending SMSs to your customers. SMS is one great marketing technique method that works great even up until today. People are still reading SMS messages, yes. You also have Facebook and Twitter auto posts. So this basically can make automatic posts for you on Facebook and on Twitter. You can schedule your posts for whenever you want and it'll take care of that. You also have OmniSend email marketing. You can also create your own email campaigns through the Shopify platform, but OmniSend email marketing has a lot more features and a lot more benefits. So check them out for email marketing. A lot of people are using them. It's an all-in-one tool that really has a lot of things. So you can really analyze each one of your market campaigns and see how each one went. It has a lot of in-depth detail. Just click on the link below in the article and you'll read everything about it. The fourth Shopify app that I recommend for you to use is Judge Me Product Reviews. What this app does is it takes reviews from the supplier site and it puts it in your shop. So if you're selling an item, you can see all of the reviews that that supplier got for that product. You're gonna import those same reviews into your store for social proof and you're not lying to anyone because these are real reviews from real customers on this same product from the same supplier. So let's see an example of how that looks. Just click on that and if you go a little bit down below, you'll have an example store. So you'll have the product and when you scroll down a little bit, you'll get to the product reviews and here it looks. So this is how it looks when you import the reviews from your supplier. It looks really good. It gives you the social proof that you need for your products and it really helps to sell. So use judge.me for that. Next, you have Consistent Cart. So this is a really good app to help you save those abandoned carts, people who added your products to their cart but didn't go through with a checkout process. So what this app does is it can send them SMSs, push notifications, emails, whatever you choose to try and pull those customers back into your store by offering them discounts or anything that they need to go through with the checkout process and buy the product. So Consistent Cart is the fifth Shopify app that I recommend to use to help further market your store and drive in more sales. Next, you have Tidio Live Chat. It's a very useful tool to open a live chat on your store. A lot of people, when they enter a store and they see a live chat, they start chatting and seeing what's up because sometimes they just wanna ask a small question, but sometimes they just wanna test the site to see if it's run by a real person and not by some robot. So they'll just test you out, send you a few messages, they'll see that it's all good. You can even offer them a discount, which is a very smart marketing method to use on the chat. So you can do that. Tilio Live Chat is definitely gonna drive in more customers. They're gonna test you first, and then they're gonna buy the product. So use Tilio Live Chat to have a live chat on your store. The next app is SEO Booster for SEO marketing. This app helps boost SEO on your store. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And by the way, once again, the links to everything that I'm talking about right below this video in the full article. So SEO Booster helps make SEO enhancements in the background of your shop. And within a couple of months, you're already supposed to start seeing positive results from the SEO work. Your shop will be ranked much higher on Google search. And this way you'll get much more traffic to your store. So use the SEO booster for that. And so the final thing that I want to talk to you guys about to help you automate your business and drive in more traffic and sales is to use the AutoDS platform because it's fully integrated with Shopify now and you can fully import your products from your suppliers. It can fulfill your orders automatically, update tracking information, monitor your stock and your prices, and many additional features. Here is how the platform looks. It's very intuitive and easy to read. You have the dashboard. You can add products by clicking on the add products link. You can see your orders by clicking on orders. You can see the products that you have by clicking on products. You also have all of your product drafts. These are the items that you have before they go into products and start being monitored. I'm not going to go into the whole explanation now, but a super important part of using the AutoDS system, besides the whole business automation and all of that, is that starter packages are for free, completely free. You can use the AliExpress supplier, up to 100 variations, everything will be automated for you, and you won't have to pay a dime. That is because we really want to convince people to start and to see that this business is good for them. So we're starting with the free packages, everybody can enjoy it. If you're an advanced expert professional dropshipper, the starter package probably won't be so good for you, but this is a really good package for beginners. And one more quick thing about the platform, when you're importing products into your store through AutoDS, the platform will automatically decrease all of your image sizes 
without seeing the differences in the image quality, therefore giving you faster page loading, because anyone, any viewer who enters your site and it'll take more than two seconds to load, forget about it, they'll leave and they'll go straight to your competitors. So your listings are enhanced, it'll give it better SEO ranking and faster page loading. So use the AutoDS platform, I definitely highly encourage you to try it out. And so that pretty much sums up this video on the top five best methods to successfully market your store with a low budget, plus more perks and bonuses that you had throughout this video and throughout the blog, which you can see over here. Go now, read the blog. There's a lot more information which I couldn't go over this video because it will just be too long. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the cool informational and valuable videos like this one. So until the next time guys, bye bye.